Welcome back to Hellendale Hot Rods. It is March 2023. I've uh, taken a little break from the Roadster Revival. Um, I got uh, <laughs> quite a bit left to do on it, but uh, I'm gonna be getting into some spring projects here right away that uh, aren't really involved with vehicles. So um, I'm gonna do a little job today. I got this uh, little 38 Ford. Um, pickup truck cab that uh, was kind of a rat rod type thing. Um, it was supposed to be yard art and then, uh, I don't know, like 60 hours later. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do a little job here. I'll show you in a minute. Stay tuned. So here's the skinny. It's, uh, well, I'll give you a quick tour. I did the uh, firewall recessed on it. Turned out pretty cool. Um, windscreen, get it? <laughs> um, and I made a visor for it. In hindsight, maybe I should have made it detachable, I don't know. I was just kind of being artsy fartsy there. Um, I did, whoop, I did do a three inch chop. It worked out pretty good. The doors open and close very well, but um, the top was oil can to start with. Like I said, this was gonna be yard art and then it kind of turned into a little experiment. Um, I do have a 37 that I want to uh, restore or, or do something with. So this was kind of my practice one. Um, so, you know, I've done the, done the floor in it, but I think today what I'm gonna do is, um, I wanna address this little area here, or along the drip rail. I don't think it'll be too terribly much trouble. So uh, let's get started. All right, I cleaned it up a little bit in here. Um, yeah, this is a flange weld. I usually do a butt weld, but like I say, it was uh, it was kind of a little bit of a, we'll say experiment. So um, I was lucky enough, I had a piece that was in a 90 already. I wanna get this kinda, this is a little bit rounded in here, so, and then, uh, All right, I got that little, I had that little 90 in the brake now, just gonna give her a little tweaky tweak. I'll probably have to do the rest with the uh, hammer and dolly. All right, that should just about do it. Behold, partial drip rail. Okay, I got it uh, wrapped around the end of a piece of flat bar. We're just gonna give her a couple of wax with a hammer. Just like that. Okay, I have it uh, just kind of sitting in there right now. Um, the theory is I'm gonna, <laughs> theory, I'm gonna clamp it here. And then uh, I'm gonna make a slice and a slice. And so I can, I'm gonna actually butt weld this area. Whoop. I'm gonna butt weld that area uh, once I have a perfect fit. So uh, that's the nice thing about using the zip cut blades is they're about an eighth of an inch um, thick uh, or 16th, sorry. And uh, you can get a pretty decent weld in the sheet metal.
Okay, I got it uh, somewhat clamped in place. My gap's a little wide, but that's uh, first world problems, right? So I'm gonna get a couple of tacks on there and then I can uh, slice and dice it a little bit more and massage it into shape, is the theory. Or I take the plasma and cut the bastard out. We'll see what happens. I just need to put a little piece of copper in there so my weld doesn't stick to the wrong thing. Shabby. Jack. <laughs> it's not going well, right? Tack on there. Very good.
Sasha can cook well in there. Okay. That's uh, an actual term, chicken poop welding. Alright. So, I don't know if you can see, you guys. Uh, they still got overlaps, it's all kind of crazy looking. But I'm gonna give this a slice uh, between this piece and, and this piece, and that'll give me a nice butt weld in there. Well, believe it or not, I have it in place. It's, uh, you know, pretty straight. I'm gonna trim it a little bit. Uh, terrible welds, I know, but I'm not quite done yet. So what I had done um, previously is I put this, like when you, when you chop one of these uh, cabs because it's rounded, you gotta cut it into three pieces because uh, when you drop, the top down onto the, the A and B's, it just, uh, well, it doesn't really fit. So, it, because it's too small, so you gotta widen it and then put a strip in the middle. So, because I was, like I said, uh, it was yard art <laughs> before, um, I just flanged it in here with that flanging tool and just kind of laid that patch on and just willy-nilly'd it. So what I'm gonna do now is everything's in place. I can run a nice line along here and theoretically, I will be able to do a nice butt weld along there and it should look uh, decent, I would hope. All right, bear with me, folks.
The official uh, new name of this video will be called uh, Canton of Worms, Opening of, or maybe Fixing My Own Screw Ups. So this filler piece that I put in, I don't know if you could see in the video, but it's actually starting to buckle in this area. Um, so I'm just gonna cut all the welds along here and um, then I'm able to make my slice along here and should rectify the situation. Um, it'll look a little less like a dog's breakfast. Let's get going. Okay, making a little bit progress, comrades. You can see it's uh, laying a little flatter now. More like super professional. <laughs> it's a long road ahead, but um, yeah, I just wanted to mess around with this today. It's kind of been bugging me for a while. Got that uh, tack in, I got uh, it nice and flush here. This is, the flange is still in there. I, I didn't get rid of that, but um, with a little bit of filler, uh, once all the welds are completed, it should look really good from a mile away. Anyways, um, you can see how much of a gap there was there. Like it was, you know, 18th, of, you know, sorry, 18th of an inch. It was an eighth of an inch higher. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It's been a project that I kind of walked away from quite a while ago. Um, so uh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, attempt to get rid of the oil canning. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I don't know what I was thinking on this one. But anyways, this, this patch is all tilted. But um, before I go any further, I want to get the shape where it should have been from factory-ish. So uh, what I'm going to do 
is I've already raised it with this screw jack type thing. And then uh, I think in the other areas, I will uh, you know, put some props in there, some two by fours or whatnot, or maybe a short person. I was able to get a little more shape out of the roof now. Um, the dents are gone where I need them to be gone. <laughs> I sound unsure, don't I? But uh, let me get some light in there. Maybe you can see. So I got a couple of uh, boards holding it up and uh, should work okay. So I'm gonna just continue what I was doing before and uh, I'm gonna keep, gonna keep slicing and we'll push that down. I'm gonna have to mess around with it a little bit. The welds have already started to let go. Um, but uh, I guess I gotta just kind of massage it as I go. It's the only massage I'm gonna be getting today. Well, the roof fix is coming along okay. Um, just uh, just kind of trying to get the you know three panels level. Um, I got a pretty good curve on the, the back here this way. It's just there's a little bit of a dip here, so I have dip here. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so I just have to kind of go underneath and push up and get it to line up. Uh, it's never going to be perfect. I know that, but uh, it was just bugging me being, you know, kind of half-assed for all that time. So, we shall continue. Oh, I got my little clampy thing here, if you're wondering. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go inside and move my jack over a little bit towards the middle just to get it looking sweet. I don't know if you can see that from the inside, uh, sorry, from the outside, but as I raise that jack, it helped quite a bit. On these 38s, there's actually a crown in this area, and then it kind of flattens out here a little bit. It's kind of a, it's cool looking, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. I think I got a, I think some kid jumped on the thing at some point in its life, or an adult, could be a drunk adult, right? Pretty close. We got rid of that big old out overlap. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's gonna go up a little bit more. If you don't have a screw jack, um, it's probably a lot harder to do this. There. Come
Okay, I'll probably explain it in other videos. These little guys just slip in between the panels and then this acts like a T on the inside. Um, I don't like having a third hand actually. It's a little bit of a, a chore because on the inside there's actually a, a brace that runs along. So it's, I kind of been fighting with that whole thing. Handy. In hindsight, I probably should have ran the strip through the English wheel to get a little bit of shape to it, but <laughs> oh man, this thing's this thing's got a shape of its own, I must say. Anywho. Right on. Ooh, tack, tack, tack. Okay, I got some progress on the uh, can of worms experiment. <laughs> um, got her, it's laying a lot more flat here. Um, it's, uh, this roof, boy, I'll tell you what a nightmare it's been, but it's coming along. It's slowly but surely. So you can see how much of a gap I had because of that, uh, the flange welding there. Um, I've used it on small patches in the past, but it is not uh, recommended for a roof chop, obviously. Uh, surprise, surprise, I had already done this side. Um, I still gotta grind it down and smooth it out, finish it off. Obviously, I gotta finish all these welds off, but um, I'll probably uh, do a little more welding and uh, give you an update shortly. All right, this morning, uh, I'm just gonna do some slices right on each side of this. And uh, we're gonna get rid of the material that's underneath because like I said earlier, it's a flange weld or overlap, whatever you wanna call it. And there's still um, the thickness of this steel underneath this. So we're gonna lay this down flat if all goes well. And uh, we'll sell it at Barrett Jackson, right? Kidding.
Well, after all that speed cutting there, uh, I'm, I'm not too happy with the fit, but um, you can see it. This The old piece sits nice and flush in there, but uh, I got some kind of crappy gaps. So I'm just gonna make a new piece and be done with it. Um, but I uh, just thought I'd show you guys kind of the trials and tribulations that uh, one might go through when uh, fixing a piece of crap. Okay, well, that's about it for this uh, lovely piece of metal. Um, I got that uh, little drip rail in there. Still needs a little bit of finishing, but uh, obviously some more chicken welding there. Um, but uh, I just wanted to share this one with you. It's, uh, it's not my best work at all, but uh, you know, I think we all have these earlier projects around and I just wanted to finish it up a little bit better. So I got uh, the whole strip along there done. Uh, this middle split one, it's still uh, kind of a, a piece on top. So I still have to deal with that, but uh, I've run out of time on this one for this, this year. So we'll hit her again another time. All right, that's it for uh, this installment of fixing my old junk. Um, thanks everybody for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to my channel. Remember, hit the subscription button. It just, all it means is you've subscribed to my channel. It does not cost you a dime. It just alerts you when I've created a new video.